Hi, Catherine Roberts here of YourArtImage.com with a quick marketing tip for artists in five minutes or less. Whether someone loves your art or not, the chances are good that they lead a busy life and you and your art are not the first thing on their minds. In fact, if they don't already own your art and have it in their home, they may actually forget about you. So what can you do to change that? How can you help clients and prospective clients remember you and your art? In marketing terms, this is called maintaining top of mind awareness. Now the most obvious and common way to remind your contacts and customers about you is with regular communication, be that a newsletter, email, note card in the post, so forth. But if you want to take your marketing efforts to the next level, then you need to strive to insert yourself into their daily life. Or another way of saying that is to occupy real estate in their home, office, or even car. I want to show you a couple of examples that other artists have used to accomplish this, as well as some, as well as some things that I've received from people who want to maintain top of mind awareness from me. And some of these are low cost ideas that you can incorporate into regular cycles with your, those on your list. Others are more expensive items that you might want to reserve as gifts for clients who have bought your work. You can check out my Ways to Say Thank You marketing tip for more about that. But all of them can be used or modified to help you stay in the minds of collectors and potential clients. And here I'm just going to hold them up really quick because it's going to be hard for me to get through this in less than five minutes. Um, here are the ideas. Take them as you will and use them. Bookmark. Put your details on the back. Most of these are in books by my bed, so there's not a lot of them there. Postcards. Again, details on the back, but provide something that people can either use to write and pass on to other people or just put up in their office or on their wall, wherever they might be. Here are some little original drawings from an artist. Those are nice to have. Note cards with envelopes. Again, these get used and passed on. Um, this is cool. A set of postcards that the artist had printed and can be sent out to people. Um, a beautiful little print, not, not expensive to produce or to um, create or send, signed by the artist with their name and details on the bottom. This is a notch up. Uh, it is a limited edition print that's already mounted and sent, um, packaged with an envelope. Details about the artist on the back. But this is something that somebody can actually frame and put right up um, in their home to remind them, uh, remind, to keep you in their minds. Here are a packet of note cards that were sent to me as a little gift. Um, another set of cards that were sent, note cards that were sent from an artist. Brilliant use. Um, postcards on a bigger scale so that you, you don't have to stick to the little A6 size. You know, these are more statements that, um, almost like mini artwork to put it all around in your office. Here are some ideas from out of the art world that you can adapt. Um, this is a quote poster that goes up in my office, but why not put your artwork on it and send it to people in the old poster format? I have a quote card here from my coach. It says, read daily on it, and then it has inspirational quotes um, and thoughts on um, attitude. Here is another little gift I got. Put your artwork on the cover. These are not expensive to have made. Um, and it's got post-its inside, same idea with a notepad and little flags inside. This is by my bed. I use it every single night when something comes to mind. I mentioned in the car um, from my coach again, little flashlight. Guess what? It's on my keychain with his name on it. I see it every day. A travel charger. This plugs into a cigarette lighter in a car if you have a car with a cigarette lighter. Um, again, his name's there, but anywhere I go, I can charge my phone. And I'm reminded of my coach. He's a marketing guru. Um, another gift idea. Uh, these are coffee cups. They're easy to have made. Uh, one's got a quote and the name on the back. But you can have your artwork put on this and make a beautiful signature. If your signature is not legible, make it so and have that put here instead of a logo. So they've got your beautiful artwork on this side, your name on that side. This can be um, made and boxed for under a fiver. So, you know, these are not big expensive ideas necessarily, but they keep you in the top of the mind of potential collectors and it's wonderful to give and receive gifts. So you make people happy. That's it for this quick marketing tip for artists. I hope you found it useful. Please share it with others and leave a comment below or tell us what you've used to maintain top of, to stay top of mind in your customers. Until the next time, this is Katherine Roberts from YourArtImage.com wishing you success in all your creative pursuits.